how to use Python multi-threading to control this repeating crossbow. In this video, we will talk about it. Because the movement of the PT and the drawing of the crossbow will block the program from continuing to perform other operations. Also, in the future, we may need to install the crossbow on the robot. We need to use multi-threading to control it. For this program, we will start from the end, which makes it easier to understand the purpose and meaning of using multi-threading. First, instantiate the class that controls the PT movement. Start this thread and then pause it. In the same way, start the thread of controlling servo and then pause it. Next, start drawing the bow. Neither of the code will cause the program to be blocked. 7 seconds after starting to draw the bow, shoot. Then control the PT and start turning right. Stop turning right after 1 second. In the same way, control the PT to turn left for 1 second, up and down for 2 seconds. Note that only time slip here will cause blocking. Therefore, during the running of the main program, we can control the PT and the crossbow at will. Since there is no blocking, it will not affect the main program. Take the class PT control that controls the PT as an example. Questions about Python multiple inheritance will not be explained in detail this time. Here we initialize, find the parent class of PT control, and change the object of PT control to the object of thread. Create an event object. Event has a built-in flag by default. The initial value is false. We can set the flag to true by using the set function. The while loop in run is used to perform operations that need to be performed by multi-threading. Wait will block the thread until the flag is set to true, and the wait function will return immediately. So we can control the continuation and suspension of multi-threading by changing the flag. Here we use T command and P command to control the left and right and T movement of the PT. When the commands of left and right, up and down are both stopped, set the flag to false to block this thread. Here is the complete code for this program. In the next tutorial, we will explain the use of a GUI to remotely control the repeating crossbow. Please subscribe and thank you for watching.